Dangerous Hurricane Harvey has made landfall in Texas as a Category 4 hurricane. I'm Mike Nasa with the latest on this very, very powerful storm. Hurricane Harvey is the strongest hurricane to make U.S. landfall since Hurricane Charlie hit Punta Gorda, Florida as a Category 4 back in 2004. It is also only the fourth Category 4 hurricane to make U.S. landfall in the last 30 years or so after Hugo and, of course, Andrew, which was a Cat 5 in 1989 and 1992. There's the imagery as the hurricane has now weakened to a strong Category 3. It is inland over Texas, pounding the coastline with devastating winds, disastrous storm surge, and significant extreme impacts. Now, uh, this was the 11 p.m. advisory when the winds were uh, Category 4 strength. Like I said, it's now down to 125 miles per hour. Uh, it's actually now at 28.2 north, 97.0 west. So it has moved more northerly, and it's still slowing down northwest at 6, much slower than before. The pressure has risen into the 940s. It had gotten down to 938 millibars, which makes it one of the strongest hurricanes ever to make U.S. landfall. Not the strongest by far, but certainly uh, a high-caliber hurricane. Nothing to screw around with at all. And you can see the uh, forecast models keep Harvey in Texas for the next 2, 3, even 4 or 5 days. So the rainfall is going to be terrible, terrible rainfall and flood potential. You can see this is uh, from the Weather Prediction Center through the next five days. Look at these disastrous rainfall amounts, 20, 30, maybe even 40 inches of rain. Some of the computer models earlier were showing upwards of 50 inches. Uh, the European model was showing 50 inches of rain along the Texas coastline, which is going to be uh, just very devastating if that happens. There's a close-up of the uh, eye wall. You can see the northern eye wall right now. We're going to zoom in. It is over uh, Vidari, Texas, Ostwell, Texas. Uh, it came right in through Rockport and Bayside uh, near Port O'Connor where the eye of this Category 4 hurricane came ashore. Uh, you can see Corpus Christi off to the south. You guys are not in the eye wall, so uh, Port Lavaca and Corpus probably missed it, but an area like Rockport, you guys just got hammered with a Category 4 hurricane which is a very rare event. This is the first Cat 4, by the way, to hit Texas since 1961's Hurricane Carla, which was a devastating storm. Carla, of course, uh, came in as a Category 4 after weakening to a 5. It took a similar path as Harvey, but uh, it kept moving. Harvey's going to slow down and rain like mad, which is why the flood threat is so horrendous with this hurricane. You can see it already start to slow down there on in the infrared. Note how well organized and well defined the eye came uh, ashore. Very well organized. I gotta say, when they're smaller hurricanes in August moving west, the likelihood of Category 4 intensity is much higher than when they're getting interacted with a trough turning north later in the year, which is why uh, the likelihood that this became a Cat 4 always seemed a little bit more certain than uh, past seasons, uh, but again, just devastating storm surge here on the barrier islands as that eye wall came ashore, and I pity to see what we see in the morning light uh, for areas there around Rockport, Port, uh, Port O'Connor, Port Lavaca. You guys are going to be dealt a very severe blow from Harvey. Now, uh, this is the radar imagery further north. You can see out of San Antonio areas here, Right in there is the eye wall, still holding together very well. It's a tightly coiled system, but you can see the rainfall further north. Houston, you're about to get a good band. And even areas of Louisiana, Beaumont, Texas, you guys are getting heavy rainfall. And again, as Harvey continues to slow down, even though the winds will be weakening and it'll eventually lose hurricane strength, it's going to remain close enough to the Gulf to fetch in this moisture, so that's why the flood threat is very real. You can see up towards Austin, even Waco, you guys are going to start to get rainfall from this hurricane. But as of right now, the impact still, as it's made its second landfall here, right along the coastline, uh, 125 mile per hour winds right now, just a very serious hurricane. So this is nothing to play around with. We'll continue to watch it. Again, a... Uh, a devastating storm, Category 4 Hurricane Harvey, inland now over Texas, still a major hurricane, the first major hurricane to hit the United States in 12 years. I'm Mike Naso from the Tropical Video Update page on YouTube. Stay tuned. We'll have more later 
as the Atlantic hurricane season heats up with a Category 4 U.S. landfall tonight.